What's up Guardians of the Internet, my name is Hondro, and recently I got my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth Gallo Horns from Xur. Yes! Oh my god, I just scared the shit out of my cat! Oh my god, he's got Galley. Oh my god. But now that everyone has a Gallahorn, Bungie's taking it and beating us about the nuts via this Bungie.net update from 8-20-2015. The update states that the Gallahorn will remain a year one exotic at year one levels. So Bungie says, hey Gallahorn, get wrecked! Now to show Bungie's reasoning for this, let's go back to their article from July 16th about the weapons tuning that will go live with the Taken King DLC. In the article, Bungie ha has this to say. If Destiny had a nuke, it would be the baller horn. We definitely intended to have a high damage heavy weapon that was ideal for PvE destruction. What we did not intend and what we unfortunately saw was pick up raid and nightfall groups gating participation based on whether or not players had this weapon. Gallahorn was so strong that for many people it had become the only answer to getting through tough encounters, and therefore they were less willing to spend time with other players that didn't have it. They then show a graph spanning a month that shows the amount of guardians that had Gallahorns equipped as their heavy weapon in PvE settings. The graph shows that the nearly 30% of all Guardians had the Gallahorn regularly equipped in all PvE scenarios, while the next closest weapon is the Hunger Acrota sitting at roughly 7.5% for the month. The article goes on to say, We strive for Destiny to be a place where a single weapon or strategy does not dictate how or with whom you spend your time. In the new world, Gallahorn is still worthy of its legacy as an exotic heavy weapon, but we hope it promotes inclusive behavior rather than exclusivity. The change that they're doing is reducing the damage of Wolfpack rounds. With this information in mind, I decided to do a very unscientific test in order to sort out why people chose the Gallahorn over the other exotic rocket launchers and the legendary Hunger of Crota. I started out with an entirely unupgraded G-Horn to see how it would fare against the Hive Majors near the patrol spawn on the Cosmodrome. Next up is a G-Horn that is upgraded past Wolfpack rounds but is not maxed out. Now let's check out a maxed out Dragon's Breath against the same enemies. Watch it. Then we have the maxed out Truth. So there's that. And finally, the maxed out Hunger of Crota. Let's give it one more shot, shall we? What a piece of shit. So now with that very unscientific testing out of the way, it is clear why the G-Horn dominates the PvE landscape. The truth tracks targets, holds three shells, but doesn't have nearly the raw damage. Dragon's Breath holds three shells, puts out enough damage to get the job done, but doesn't track targets. The Hunger of Crota tracks, but it barely does the damage that a completely unupgraded G-Horn puts out. And the Gallahorn, upgraded past Wolfpack rounds, puts out massive damage with the initial blast, follows that up with the devastating Wolfpack rounds, and it tracks targets. The player choice is simple. We will always use the best and most powerful weapon available, and that is the Gallahorn. 
However, now, unfortunately, Bungie thinks it's time for the community to move on. So, I'm sorry, Gallahorn. It was fun while it lasted. Here's to whatever will become your year two equivalent.